Brave New World, written by Aldous Huxley and first published in 1932, is a seminal work of dystopian literature. The novel presents a future society where humans are engineered and conditioned for their roles in life, individuality is suppressed, and happiness is mandated. Huxley explores the implications of technological advancement and the cost of a supposedly perfect society. Dear Valued Supporter We appreciate your ongoing support for our channel. For those seeking additional ways to contribute, we offer subscriptions on Patreon and Boosty, providing exclusive perks as a token of gratitude. Join our community and let's enhance this journey together. If you prefer an alternative, PayPal donations are also warmly welcomed. Your generosity helps maintain and improve our content. Whether through Patreon, Boosty, or PayPal, your support is crucial in sustaining our channel. Thank you for considering these options. Links will be indicated in the description of the video. The World State Society In Brave New World, society is controlled by a world state, a single global government. The world state maintains stability through a rigid caste system, technological manipulation, and the suppression of individuality. People are divided into five castes, alphas, betas, gammas, deltas, and epsilons. Each caste has a specific role, from the intelligent and powerful alphas to the menial laborers of the epsilons. Alpha children were gray. They work much harder than we do, because they're so frightfully clever. The government uses advanced reproductive technology, like the Bokanovsky process, to produce large numbers of uniform individuals. 96 identical twins working 96 identical machines. This process ensures a stable and predictable population. Conditioning from birth shapes people's desires and behaviors to fit their predetermined roles. Control through conditioning. The world state employs psychological conditioning to maintain social order. From birth, citizens are subjected to sleep teaching, hypnopedia, to instill the society's values. The greatest moralizing and socializing force of all time. This technique ensures that people accept their roles without question and remain content with their place in society. Children are taught to embrace consumerism and avoid critical thinking. Ending is better than mending. The more stitches, the less riches. This mantra promotes a culture of constant consumption, discouraging thriftiness and individual creativity. The use of Soma, a government-provided drug, further pacifies the population, ensuring that people remain happy and docile. A gram is better than a dam. The Role of Technology Huxley explores the role of technology in shaping society. The world state uses technology not only for reproduction but also to control and entertain its citizens. Feeling lurks in that interval of time between desire and its consummation. Shorten that interval, break down all those old unnecessary barriers. Technology eliminates any delays in gratification, ensuring instant satisfaction. The novel raises questions about the cost of technological advancement. While technology provides comfort and stability, it also leads to the loss of individuality and critical thinking. The citizens of the world state are deprived of meaningful relationships and genuine emotions. Community, identity, stability are the core principles of this society, but they come at the expense of freedom and authenticity. Loss of individuality. Brave New World highlights the dangers of sacrificing individuality for the sake of societal stability. The citizens of the world state are conditioned to conform to societal norms and avoid any behavior that deviates from the norm. Everyone belongs to everyone else is a slogan that epitomizes the lack of personal connections and the emphasis on communal relationships. The character of Bernard Marx exemplifies the struggle for individuality. Bernard feels out of place in society due to his physical appearance and dissatisfaction with the conformist culture. It makes me feel as though. As though I were more me. Despite his efforts to assert his individuality, Bernard ultimately succumbs to societal pressures. The Savage Reservation The Savage Reservation serves as a stark contrast to the world state. Located in New Mexico, it is a place where people live according to traditional customs and values. John, also known as the Savage, is born on the reservation and raised with a mix of indigenous and Shakespearean influences. Oh brave new world that is such people and John's arrival in the world state highlights the clash between two very different cultures. He is initially fascinated by the technological wonders but soon becomes disillusioned by the lack of genuine human connections and the shallow nature of the society. I ate civilization. 
It poisoned me, I was defiled. John's struggle to reconcile his beliefs with the reality of the world state underscores the novel's critique of a society that prioritizes stability over individuality and authentic experience. Themes of Control and Freedom Huxley explores themes of control and freedom throughout the novel. The world state maintains control through technological manipulation, conditioning, and the suppression of dissent. Citizens are deprived of personal freedom in exchange for a stable and comfortable life. But I don't want comfort. I want God, I want poetry, I want real danger, I want freedom, I want goodness. I want sin. The character of Mustafa Mond, one of the world controllers, articulates the rationale behind the world state's policies. He argues that sacrificing freedom is necessary to ensure social stability and prevent conflict. The world's stable now. People are happy, they get what they want, and they never want what they can't get. Mann's perspective reflects the utilitarian approach of the world state, which prioritizes the greatest happiness for the greatest number, even at the cost of individual freedom. The Cost of Utopia Brave New World presents a dystopian vision of a utopia achieved through the suppression of individuality and the manipulation of human desires. Huxley suggests that the pursuit of a perfect society comes with significant moral and ethical costs. The world state's emphasis on consumerism, instant gratification, and superficial happiness results in a dehumanized and emotionally barren society. The novel challenges readers to consider the value of individuality, freedom, and authentic human experiences. It raises important questions about the role of technology in our lives and the potential consequences of sacrificing personal freedom for societal stability. Huxley's work remains relevant as it prompts reflection on the balance between progress and the preservation of human values. Brave New World is a thought-provoking novel that explores the implications of technological advancement and the pursuit of a perfect society. Through its portrayal of a dystopian future, the novel raises important questions about the cost of stability, the role of technology, and the value of individuality and freedom. Huxley's critique of a society that prioritizes comfort and stability over authentic human experiences remains relevant, making Brave New World a timeless and powerful work of literature.